everybody, it's Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk and today I'm just coming to demonstrate this stamp set and the reason I'm wanting to demonstrate it is because when I first used it I kind of like struggled with it um, until I asked about and you know lots of ladies gave suggestions of how to use it so I wanted to do a quick demonstration in case any of my customers decide they'd like this stamp set now first of all I will say I have bought mine in wood mount um, in my infinite wisdom I thought it would save me transferring it to my blocks um, the other thing that I will tell you is that when I first got this stamp set I saw it in the catalogue and I thought, oh marvellous, and I assumed it would be the same size as the other background stamp sets, which they're, you know, they're big like that. This one, they are smaller, okay? They are much, much smaller, um, and they are in panels rather than a completely massive background stamp. So that threw me, I was a bit like, oh, I thought they were bigger than that. So I just want to pre-warn you that they are smaller but you are getting two. Now, I did buy mine in wood blocks and if I had have thought a little bit further ahead, I would have bought the clear mount and the reason being, I could have then put it on my stamparatus and I could have stamped um, bigger backgrounds with it. But there you go, you live and learn. I decided to have wood blocks, so that's what I've got. So what I did when I first got mine was I just added ink to it and stamped and it looked pants okay it, it did it looked a bit and i was like oh no it's rubbish i've got a duff stamp there's something wrong with it it's not right but what you've got to do is don't put ink don't just go on straight onto your ink pad like that with it add it with a sponge dauber or oh, what i have got here is i have my um doo -doo, one of them sponge roller what they're called um, <laughs> a, a brayer <laughs> I couldn't think of name then now I have previously used this so I'm just going to make sure that there's that I've rubbed all of that ink off you can, now the brayers you get in a box like so and I just keep mine in the box and you get um, more than one you get two and you get spare ones of these and you get spare rollers and you can wash them out they're awesome Okay. so what you do is you Using your briar, you add ink by carefully rolling in one direction to make sure you've got ink all the way around. Okay, and then you go and you roll it onto your block. I've got it on wood, but never mind. Okay, and make sure I've got plenty on. Okay, and then you stamp. So let's have a look. It better work now. <laughs> Give it a press, let that ink transfer. And there you go, you do get the lovely bouquet dots. I think that's fab. I want to do another one. <laughs> I want to do another one in another colour. Have I got any spare? I'll do it on there. Piece of scrap that I was demonstrating with earlier. So I'm going to do another colour and I'm going to do... Um, I quite like balmy blue. Now, if you go and visit my blog, I have done a project using um, this stamp um, as background. So I'm going to just quickly show you how the sponge rollers work. So you just clip that in there like so, and then it all just clips on. It's really simple, and you know they are good value for money. I have had this set well over twelve months. Well over. And, you know, it's uh, not falling to pieces. I've washed the sponges. They've been brilliant. So let me just move that. I'm going to just use my stamp and scrub to clean that Highland Heather off. Right, so, stamping spray. I got disturbed then because uh, my UPS man came. <laughs> so I had to pause. So there, that's nice and clean now. And I'll get that off later. Okay, so let's try it with another another colour. This is balmy blue. Just in case we've got anybody that doesn't really like the lilac colour. Okay. 
because sometimes a colour can make or break something can't it if you don't like it if you don't like it there we go so it is quite a subtle um a, quite a subtle look you can just see the dots there and there's the lilac -y one now we're using the brayer you can um also do multi colours you could do the baby wipe technique lots and lots of different ideas but i just wanted to show ladies the best way of using these stamps because using them direct to ink pad is not the best result the best result is to put the ink on using a brayer so have fun check those out in the catalogue don't forget to take a look at my blog post which will come tomorrow which has a card using this lovely set thanks for watching bye